So we made it to the Power Sports place and McGregor's using his ingenuity. Um, so here's the deal. We're saving some money on not having them uh, take them off the bike. So we're gonna take them off the bike, which we can do just fine. They're gonna mount them. But due to that, we have to get creative on how we're gonna take them off. Fortunately, Greg has a center stand which aids a little bit for what he's got to do. And then um, I'm gonna have to think a little bit more. But what they said is to come here. It's called Delta Power Sports. It's not too far from where we were camping on Fort Wainwright. So we already checked in and everything. We got the tires as I explained on my previous video. They said come to this dead end street. This is where most, most guys will work on their bikes. Due to liability purposes, um, we can't uh, we can't work on them on their property. So I'll just document this as we go along. Got to get going, but So Greg successfully got his up. He's gonna take his off. Then he helped me stabilize mine. So with the kickstand and some spare pieces of wood that we found, <laughs> stabilize the uh, front. And I have this thing I got from Tusk, little lightweight portable brace kickstand thing. Got enough clearance and I'm going to get to it. This is what I told you guys for our videos. You just gotta watch the orientation of your speedometer cable and those groupings inside. So I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna run this into the shop and have them start working on. Ow, 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 my knee, ow. Fuck. Sorry about the explanation. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. My knee just popped out, but um, like I said, I don't edit. I'm family friendly, but I'm not gonna be able to bleep that expletive out. I'm sorry, hurt my knee. I'll come right back. Hold on, before I go in. So how you doing, Greg? Good. So Greg's moving right along. Um, I think I'll wait, I'll run both the front tires in. So tire, front tire number one is in the shop, which is just a short walk right there. Originally, we had a hotel room right there, right across the street. But the prices are so stinking high out here, we opted for $15 a night at where we're at. So one thing Greg mentioned 
is uh, considering when you're using Loctite blue and Loctite red, depending, um, it might be dynamically different when you get out in the field and you have to work on some of these things. So the Kalar pop right out, but Greg has two disc brakes up front. Um, obviously more stopping power because he's traveling at a higher speed. So um, the only difference is that I was able to slide mine out, but Greg has to loosen up one of the calipers. brake calipers so it has the um, the width to get the wheel out. But this is only going to be a couple of seconds. I'm probably... Reuse your old tube? Right, that's the gist of it, you guys. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I just know, I know that we talked about and voila. So Greg is going to put that on there. Now, he's not doing a rear, so he's set. I have to wait till my front's done so I have a uh, pivot point where I can get the rear wheel off. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys where we're at with the tire swap. Uh, before I close out this video, I'm just going to mention again, if you're doing this, and I've talked about it when your speedometer goes out, and I did another thorough video on it, the grease is probably not going to be able to see it but right there and I forgot to bring my extra grease for my um uh to put the uh axle back in darn it um anyways so there's a tab there and a tab there that have to line up with the inside of that hub uh so that grabs and what that does is as the wheel turns those two tabs turn with the wheel registering the speed and the trip meter and the odometer uh, when I was at my daughter's house in Corvallis, it was this I just simply, you know, got loose, but haven't had an issue with that. So, oh, with that, my, my right knee keeps popping out. Hopefully that's not going to be an issue. That's going to be it for this video. Um, not really going to do much for the rear. It's going to take a while anyways, and I didn't want to keep this. I could probably actually send this up to you guys to view um, by the time I get the rear one done. So that's the goal. And then get back to... Fort Wainwright and work on the rest of the work on the rest of the stuff. Okay, um, enjoy. Ask any questions you might have. Things are going well. Uh, weather's not looking too terribly good for us tomorrow to get all the way to the Arctic Circle, but we're going to reassess that when we not the Arctic Circle to get all the way to Purdue Bay. The weather's not looking favorable, but we'll readdress that tomorrow. All right, bye.